All right, guys, here we go. Part two of Goku versus Superman Cartoon Fight Club from Animation Rewind. The old school battle, the 1930s battle, Superman won. Yeah, 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 we're throwing that one away. Let's see what happens today. <laughs> All right, Superman should lose just because he ran like that. And that keeps happening to his leg. That's a pretty good dance move, though. Oh! Whoop his ass, God Goku. Look, these guys, these guys are good animators. I love this stuff. I'm giving you fair warning. Leave. It seems force is all you understand. That's a, that's what Goku's all about. You won't get away. Come on, Goku. Maybe this will knock some sense into you. And this now. Superman's badass lines are so hokey. They did that right too. I can't stand old school hokey lines. You're only the second person to push me this far. Yes, I can make jokes too. Okay, what's this about? You're a very cheery fella, are you? No. Up, up and away. This could be trouble. Up, up and away. Now you've done it. Throw that in there. I'd give up and go home. You won't get away. <laughs> I mean, it's very simplistic, but I'm enjoying this. All right. Come on. Tell me how many what? Kaiohu. Come on, Goku. Oh. I forgot to tell you, I am aware there's a second screw attack video of the two of them fighting, and we're going to go over that too. Oh, it's so always a little heat vision action. Big deal, pussy. You think you've got power now? <laughs> you should talk a lot. You won't win this fight. I'm not finished here. No. Don't start measuring the Come on. You're still too naive. Hame, hame, ha. Here goes. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's not talking about some Super Saiyan Jiu Jitsu, motherfucker. Oh, yeah, now Goku's taking over. I'll catch up. No. Oh, come on, Goku. Yeah! Bitch, there we go. You can't beat me. Sorry. I meant to finish you off quicker than that. Kameyame, what? Oh, ho, ho. Okay, now, before the ultimate nerd war takes place in the comments, please, <laughs> please hear me out before you rage. Then after that, feel free. To no, I want, I, I want to hear you out. This is fascinating. And pretty sure well, we, oh, man, I can't wait to have a live stream about this, guys. Battles, and many believe that post-crisis Superman has infinite strength based on a few certain feats, even though DC Comics confirms he doesn't, but some of you still believe he does. Huh. So, I'm going to go into each feat and find out the truth behind his level of strength. Question okay. one, wasn't Superman able to lift the Book of Infinite Pages? The answer is no, not alone and not for long, at least. Superman was not able to lift this book. Oh. I first start by saying the Book of Infinite Pages is just the title of the book. It is only called the Book of Infinite Pages. It has nothing to do with the amount of pages in the book. The oh, book shit, is okay. really made out of every book ever written. This is still an extremely heavy book. Yeah, but it's, uh, it is that was a pretty finite weighty. book. And because it was finite and Shazam had to help Superman lift this book, this feat has to be shared with both Superman and Shazam. Also, in the end of the day, they both failed to lift the book. Another oh, interesting fact yeah, so, so his Ultraman powers are certainly not infinite. chapter and last page of this book. If the book has an ending and a final chapter, then it is not infinite. A true infinite has no beginning and no right. end. Right. Wow, this guy's this good. this book clearly has an end. Question two. 
wasn't Superman able to give me your input on what this guy's saying, guys? Because you, you guys are more well versed well, than me. I could answer this question with a question: What is half of eternity? It doesn't shrinking matter. Eternity. <laughs> it doesn't shrinking matter. <laughs> He's made up of all time, not all mass. So the next question is, what is Spectre's weight? Spectre weighs as much as he wants to. He has the ability to constantly change his weight whenever he wants. I gotta get that back into reading the comics again. <laughs> These are some pretty good stories. Into the ground. Spectre will never have an infinite weight because the amount of weight he gives himself will always be measurable. When Superman lifted Spectre oh. from the Justice League and they needed to be there because Spectre had a finite weight. Now for the sake of debate, Let's pretend, just pretend, that Spectre weighs infinite pounds. Let's look at the scans that show the Justice League lifting. This is, in the I, this scene, is fascinating. Is, is this as fascinating to you guys as it is to me? Spectre's I know you've probably already seen it. Make sure you're supporting so Animation Queen Rewind too, please, guys. And digs them a tunnel to break the ground Spectre was on. The ground was perfectly fine holding Spectre, which makes no logical sense if he's infinite power. He's infinite, right. But let's forget right. that and pretend that the ground somehow has infinite strength as well. In the very next slide, we notice Superman and Wonder Woman are no longer lifting Spectre. Only one person is lifting Spectre in this scene all on his own. Does anyone notice that green box that Spectre is in? Ladies and gentlemen, Give a round of applause Green for the Lantern? man who apparently now has infinite strength. Green Lantern. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, because he's a badass. <laughs> Let him have it, Stewie. <laughs> I like that Green Lantern. He's built like me. Apparently lived Spectre all on his own. So Superman and Wonder Woman didn't even need to be there. Green Lantern's ring has something known as Green the Lantern pocket titty. dimension. Within the ring exists the possibility of an entire world. When Green Lantern defeated the evil sorcerer Murvedin, he reduced I never the liked Green Lantern to way before the movie ever came out. And then imprisoned him inside the power ring into a world created by Green Lantern's will. This undefined space may be a tesseract or a virtual reality created by the power ring, but it doesn't take away the fact that there is a whole entire world inside the ring. Green Lantern's ring oh. has a whole world in it, yet the ring only weighs a few ounces that anyone can lift. Thanks to Hammer Space, oh, shit. someone or something is made up of eternity or has a whole world inside them, they are nowhere near infinite weight. Also, a lot of Superman's <laughs> like movies this guy. Holy have shit. not been possible this without guy. the help of Green Lantern. This guy's what smart. He needs to go outside sometimes, but he's Superman smart. travel from Vega to Earth in under 10 minutes, making him over a million times the speed of light? The I've heard this question some, uh, somebody yes mention that one in the comments. No. Superman did travel from Vega to Earth, not by traveling really fast, but by slowing down time while in space. Because everything in space oh. moves faster when there is not that much gravity in its way. The comic clearly states that Superman is really just bending time without gravity stopping him. Time oh. works differently while in space. If you don't want to believe me, or he hacked. Don't want to believe Superman the comic, hacks! Then ask Bill Nye the science guy. Near the Earth, the source of gravity, clocks run at the speed we know. If we're not moving, and we're way out here where the pull of gravity isn't as strong, time goes ever so slightly faster. This guy's we know smart. this is true, He's, because we've measured it. You're backing screen. up your argument with Bill now Nye the, the science guy. Day, you're solid. I like Bill Nye. Can travel over a million times the speed of light. Travel speed is completely hmm, different that's from old me. Speed. Bill Nye, this is for the wigs. If it was Goku in this situation, he would have been able to travel from Vega to Earth within an instant via instant transmission. Right. But then again, that is just travel speed, not combat speed. Question four. Didn't Superman have the power to destroy the universe when he was fighting an alternate version of himself? Well, if you read the slide out of context, that's what it could mislead you to look like. But the oh. comic really displays that he was only destroying the boundaries of space and time. And by space and time, these Superman were really only shattering their own timelines and their own space boundaries. <laughs> Holy shit, this guy is good. <laughs> oh, damn. Superboy Prime does have the strength to shatter dimensions. Guys, do me a favor. When I inevitably eventually go on trial for doing um, for snapping and doing something crazy get this guy as my lawyer would you constant punching 
to accomplish this. Look at that. Something that Goku can now do. <laughs> going to rampage against the Superman Goku backers in the Goku War. Superman for the same reason why Except for you guys. Side, I was going to rampage against you guys. Kicked his butt with the anti life serum upgrade, which made him universal. In that battle, Superman tried to pull a smart move on Darkseid by physically preparing his body to catch him off guard and quickly finish him. But because Darkseid had the universal anti life serum, he was able to kick Superman's butt. Superman would have died if the Justice League didn't come in and save him. Goku now has that oh, same instant shattering power. That pussy is gonna kill Superman? Goku. Fucking now, this own was just Goku versus post crisis Superman. Goku whoop his ass before breakfast. About Goku versus pre crisis Superman. I don't think I need a lot of explaining for this one, guys. Pre crisis Superman broke the bounds of infinity, making him literally limitless and More ultimate. Shit. He also has the power to create his own abilities, which technically means whatever Goku can do, pre crisis Superman can do better. Pre crisis Superman is illogically broken, and you can't mess with a character like that. Exactly. Like that can probably See, I'm, I'm with this guy completely. Exactly what he just said. The character is logically broken. The character is logically shattered to pieces. He's not even a character anymore. I mean, it's just, there's nothing logical about it. There's nothing based in the storyline about logic. it. Goku does not break logic, so Goku cannot right. beat Pre-Crisis Superman. If there's anything you learn out of this episode... No, Pre-Crisis Superman doesn't exist. ...the versions and timelines of characters we are using. It all depends on the circumstances. You can't base things off of... See, he, he's covering a lot of what I was going to cover. The variables. Just to give one Blood lust. Hand. You have to use a specific timeline to get a specific result. That being right. said, the official outcome of this episode is technically a tie. We have one win no. for Goku no, and because one I, win for Superman. I say you know what pre-crisis Superman we doesn't get recognized. Like Fuck him. He's a non-existent. So if you want to see Goku As a story writer, you got to have some responsibility to a timeline and to, to a narrative, don't you? Instead of just throwing things in? Between that Superman, comment down below the word sudden death. And if this episode gets 4,000 sudden death comments, there will be a sudden death tie-breaking match to end the Goku versus Superman debate. Oh, I'll have to look also, see how many you got. I gotta, re oh, I gotta subscribe to this channel, too. For future Cartoon Fight Club episodes. They may even become a future episode of Cartoon Fight Club. On a side note, I want to give a quick that was shout real, out that to was real, Really well the done. He made a lot of the points that I, I had already thought, you know, I had been thinking about and I plan on making the in the live stream. The post Most notably, I'll give you... Sent me a bunch of scans to help Superman me fights because he has episode. to. Goku fights because he has to. Special thanks for all the to me, that's a really big deal, and in the stream, I'll explain video. to you why. Thank you all. Check out their stuff. Everyone was amazing. Dude, the it, are amazing. applause the animation rewind. This this, video this video was really well it. done. Just Make sure you guys you are checking him out, subscribing and to him, and everything. He absolutely deserves it. All right, I'll check that. I'll check that out after I tie this up. That yeah. See, he, he made a, a shit ton of the points I had planned on making. So let me know what you guys think. Come on. And again, I, I always try and be up front with you guys, no matter how silly whatever we're talking about is. I'm biased. I'm rooting against Superman. I'm looking for ways to make the case for Goku. But I honestly don't think it's hard to make the case for Goku. And th this pre-era Superman, the pre-86 Superman, that's horse shit. Because you can't... The story didn't even... You're not even a character anymore at that point. Because you're not beholding to any story. A character has to have a story. He doesn't have a story anymore when you just start throwing powers at him. For no apparent reason. No, There's no linear element to the story. Am I right? Am I wrong, guys? What do you think? But I'll, I'll try and get that stream set up as soon as I can. Please watch for it. Come in let me know what you think. And I'll be reading your comments on these during the stream too. We'll get to the bottom of this. If we, And then the big question... Curtis Candy versus Superman. Yeah, probably doesn't matter which incarnation then. It's not going to get pretty. <laughs>